is over, we get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Nurmagomedov is two years the elder. The rest of the numbers are effectively identical. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, presenting the challenger, Islam Makachev. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. You ready? Here we go with round one, and sometimes when you have a closely contested matchup on paper, which is grappler versus grappler, we see a striking affair, but all indications are these guys are going to try to clinch and try to do what got them on the They won't try to clinch, right? They may try and strike, but ultimately, John, they are grapplers at their core. Oh, no. All right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well.
hustle early. Great job. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate the flow that he can get the finish. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, you see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands often. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Nurmagomedov's just got full mount now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Now he's going to attack the triangle choke here. Excited to see what happens. Left hand punches the clinch. Oh, nice punch there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, color tie. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Able to land the single ground strike there. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Go, guys, work. Oh, nice job to reverse position on Marco Medov. He's got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. Get a finish here. It's tight. It's tight. Wow. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Nurmagomedov gets back up again. Nicely done. All right, he closes the distance, gets a single follow tie. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Are you ready? You ready? Oh, block. 
blocks the shot. Wow, what a head kick. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punches. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Under three minutes now to go round two. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these trains. Check the slick movement where he stuck the leg back in the middle. Now he's going to try to roll for a knee bar. Nicely done. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Just over two minutes to go. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top of the head to lift his opponent onto his hip to chase this finish. And he's out. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Lands the right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he gets a takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. Nermago Medov's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. He's that guillotine. Submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. 
Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. He blocks the punch. Oh, big punch land. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Muay Thai plump. Nice loop and punch. him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Oh, look at him land another jab there. Certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports. Perhaps he will go for another takedown here. He does, and beautiful. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. A triangle, a triangle. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, so the strike lands, but my my children hit hard. <laughs> yeah, at this point, early in the fight, you saw his head snap back. You can see the effect the punches were taking. Now, he may as well just be smacking him on the arm, like, good job, guy. What a fight. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Need to get a takedown now. Just unable to quite find that range. The cardio he must have in order to secure this mini takedown. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. on the bottom. What a sweep. One minute to go in the round. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Nice hammer fist. 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip, now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Seconds of round three. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell your... Punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking at? When I get to, now, he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now, watch as he goes to the finish. Watch this. And this might just be a matter of time. The moment he dropped his chest, it dropped all of his weight on his opponent's neck and put him to sleep. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. He's done, he's done. What a performance. Yeah, that's high-level Jiu-Jitsu there. And I know going into this fight, he felt like he was going to have to be near perfect with his grappling and his transitions to force a tap. And he did one better here tonight. He forced the nap. So great technique to get the finish. And ultimately, he is your winner by way of submission. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, a man that needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and your winner tonight by way of spectacular submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 18 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission, due to an arm triangle choke, and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. So the internationally recognized Sambo master, Khabib Nurmagomedov, stays undefeated here tonight. And the opposition may know what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they have been unable to stop it. Khabib Nurmagomedov remaining a major threat in this UFC lightweight division.